Hey everyone, it's Devin from the Maniology team with our weekly live every Tuesday at 1.30 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. You can find us here on another nail stamping journey. Whether it's a tutorial, technique, or hack, we're here to discuss the details and we're so happy you could join. Also, we know you never want to miss a Maniology live, so make sure to hit that subscribe button if you love our videos. Remember to share our content with your friends and feel free to leave a comment with suggestions for future lives. Hey everybody! Before we get started, I just want to share a little reminder with you. Have you checked out our Maniology email lately? We're launching new merch every month. Just go to our site and check out our latest styles just released yesterday. Over six new styles for you to choose from. Hello, hello! Hi, Grandma Mimsy. Hi, Taya. Maria, I see lots of familiar screen names. <laughs> so happy you all could join today. Um, today, we're going to be talking about our newest aqua topper. Have you heard about it? So, as many of you know, Working with all different types of nail art can be complicated. Sometimes you need different types of top coats or toppers. And today I'm going to just discuss some of the benefits and how to use it. Um, for those of you who love working with chrome powders or nail foils or even just doing like lead lighting type manicures, it can be really, really difficult to know what products to choose and how to create a beautiful design with out any issues. So I'm going to show you what this looks like. This is when I just applied the smut, um, the speed dry top coat and then, oh sorry, actually no no, I'm wrong. I didn't apply the speed dry top coat. I tried to apply one of our um, sparkly toppers. It's a nail polish collection. Let me see if I have it. It's this color. So I wanted to apply Pina Colada over my stamped design. And this is what happened. Isn't that the worst? You spend all this time doing your nails and then you apply a polish over it because, hey, you feel like I want to add some sparkle or I want to like do a lead lighting manicure. And the next thing you know, you end up with this. This is the absolute worst. Or maybe you were doing some nail foils and then you decided to top coat it with a regular top coat like the speed dry and you ended up with this. Now your pretty foil is completely ruined and it's just such a bummer. Or maybe you tried to do chrome powder stuff and then all of a sudden your mirror finish disappeared and you ended up with a really like gritty looking texture. All of these things can be so frustrating, and so today I'm going to show you how to avoid some of these problems. So we're going to hop right into it, and I wanted to start off with doing, it's kind of a lead lighting, kind of not, but kind of, it's like a, it's like a half lead lighting <laughs> manic here or design. So I went and applied a base coat already because I wanted to kind of speed up the process so you all didn't have to sit here and wait forever. Um, I used a bunch of different polishes to kind of create this base. I I don't know if you guys have been checking out our nail polishes, but our nail polishes are so pretty. Not our stamping polishes, our nail polishes. And I was playing around with them and this is something that I made with our nail polish bases. I love it. It's so cute. I had ideas for other things that I wanted to do with it, but we'll save it for another live. Anyways, so now I'm going to go ahead and stamp with this base. Oh, I see we're talking about lunch. Today I had goat cheese with eggs or like feta and eggs and then I had roti on the side or well I made like a weird tortilla or um not tortilla quesadilla I did the viral 
feta egg recipe and then I threw um what is that thing called uh hold on we're stamping right now <laughs> I need a sec um I threw oh gosh it's I threw something on top of it I threw a bread thing <laughs> on top of it <laughs> um roti that's right I threw roti on top of it and then I turned it into burrito or what quesadilla <laughs> so that's what this looks like now I want to make this a little darker a little more fun I don't think I really want to do the super light colored base so let's try something out but first, we're going to use our Aqua Topper. Thank you for the comments on my nails. These are grown out. I actually am going to change them. So I'm putting the Aqua Topper down as a protective layer so that way I can go ahead and apply my next layer. Now watch how many times I swipe the brush over this. Are we counting? Did we lose count? Because I really went at it with this. And as you can see, she did not smudge at all. It looks great. So for now, we're gonna put this on the side because I need this design to dry so that way we can go on and do the next steps, right? The aqua topper is so much fun. So while that dries, we're gonna move on <clears throat> to our next design. So I'm going to put a little nail foil glue on. Yeah, the no smudge aspect is crazy with this. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little nail foil glue all over this nail tip. And then you're going to want to take a little piece of foil I don't know if you guys have seen, Maniology does sell nail foils. I highly recommend you check it out. There are some really pretty colors. For example, all of the foils in here have like a holographic finish. So the colors are really, really nice. And I went ahead and cut a piece ahead of time. And this one is the pink from that box. Now let's see if this is dry yet. I'm gonna guess it's not because I waited all of what, like five seconds, but let's try and touch it. Yeah, no way, <laughs> no way. You're gonna know it's dry because when you touch it, it's gonna feel really, really sticky. If it only feels slightly sticky, it's not dry yet. It's hard to tell on this um, base, but usually it'll create like a cloudy or blue kind of film when the application is a bit thicker and it's drying. You know that it's completely dry because it'll turn clear and then it'll feel super sticky. But let's see, let's try. Mm, not quite yet. We're almost there, but not exactly. Maybe our other design is dry, let's see. Oh yeah, I think this is dry. Mm-hmm, this is dry. Yay, okay, so remember how we applied the aqua topper earlier? Now I'm gonna do a coat of P112 lace over this design because I just wanna make it look a little darker, a little bit more smoky. I think it would look really cute together. Yes, it looks so good. And as you can see, we had zero smudging. It's perfect. The design looks crisp and clear. So nice. So let's do a comparison. This is earlier when I applied that sparkly topper over a black stamp. And this is the design that I just did and I use the aqua topper in between 
and you can see how it completely changed the look of the design. Yes, the aqua topper is super cool. I don't personally recommend replacing it for a top coat. It's not meant to be a replacement for the top coat. It's supposed to kind of work with your other like products. So let me, oops, I kind of switched all my nail tips around. Now I got confused for a second. Okay, let's check this out. Let's see if this is dry. This is definitely dry. No residue, nice and tacky. So you're gonna go ahead and take your nail foil and apply it over the entire design. If you want, you can even use your stamper to kind of push it down like this. Oh. <laughs> and then you can just go ahead and keep doing that until you have a nice full cover transfer. That looks pretty good to me. And now we're gonna take our aqua topper and apply it over. So the aqua topper and the smudge free, I wouldn't say they're interchangeable. I would say that this is again, supposed to be an in-between. So I would still top coat all of these things but this is just like a protective barrier. Look at that. Watch this. Just gonna keep going at it in case you're one of those people who just <laughs> really like to make sure you've gotten every single side of the design covered. And look, it's not changing color. It's not turning milky white. It's not cracking. The design looks so, so good. So if you need a comparison, this is what happened to the other design. Do you see that? And look at how shiny this one is. And you can tell because when you look at the reflection of this, look for the reflection of the light. You're gonna notice that you can't find like the actual light. But look at this. You see that like oval shape here of the light? That's because that's my lamp above. So that kind of clear shape shows that the design still looks very, very shiny. It has that high mirror gloss effect that it had when we first applied it. You can so clearly see the reflection and the outline of my lamp. Here, you can't see that anymore. Because the surface got completely like messed up when we applied the speed dry top coat, you can't see a clear reflection of the lamp. So this is using nail foils. If you don't have our nail foil box from Maniology, you need to absolutely pick it up. It has so many pretty holographic colors. It has like all the essential colors you need. Silver, black, gold. It's really, really nice actually. But it's so cool to see the huge difference between these two. So that is our design number two with our aqua topper. I'm gonna put them here so that way you guys can continue to look at it. So let me show you what happens when we use powders. So first you're gonna wanna take your sticky base coat. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and apply a coat over either a black base or a colored base, I am using one of our polishes for this really, really nice base. I wouldn't recommend using gel over the aqua topper. So the reason why I'm not gonna recommend using gel over nail polish is because Nail polish is not flexible. It's very brittle. That's why it has a tendency to chip after, you know, a week or a couple of days because it doesn't have things in there to basically make it more flexible. 
And gel has a different type of flexibility. So if you put polish underneath and then gel over, depending on what the brand is, whether it's a soft gel or hard gel, it has a tendency to crack because again, they're not flexing at the same time. Plus they have completely different chemical makeup. So they're not the best paired together. But gel and acrylic work a lot more like, uh, sorry, gel over acrylic work a lot better. You could even do something, yeah, it, it gets very complex. It gets very complex very quickly and I'm not gonna get into it because it, yeah, it's a lot. But just know that gel over polish doesn't usually work well together. So now we're just kind of waiting to see if this is dry, is it? Almost, almost. And then I went ahead and already applied powder to a very loved, very used stamper. If you ever have a stamper head that gets nicks in it like this, don't throw it away. You can just use it for powders and chrome application. That's what I do. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to top coat this after it's all done. Okay, I think that's pretty good. We don't have any fingerprints, it looks really nice, and then we're just gonna stamp that on. I'm just gonna apply more, and then I'm gonna take a use sponge that I have over here. Remember when we did last week's live, or the week before? I don't throw away the sponges, especially because I'm not using this like on a client, it's just on myself or demonstration tips. So I still have some usable space, and I'm just gonna go ahead and rub any excess powder off. See? See all that excess powder that came off? That's important to do when you're gonna go ahead and apply a topper or stamping because all of that stuff is gonna mess up your stamp if you um, aren't careful, or your topper. You don't want the pigments to get inside your bottle anyways. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our aqua topper and just apply it over the design and then I'm just going to kind of do that a couple of times and it still looks good. So let me show you the difference. Okay, do you see how grainy the one is on the left? This is using the speed dry, this is using the aqua topper. Can you tell the difference? Because I sure can. Might be kind of hard on camera. Oh, no, no, I don't think so. Okay, so I angled them both the same. Now, if you look at the one on the left, you can see it looks really, really gritty compared to the design on the right. You see that? Do you see how the left looks extremely gritty? And then the right is nice and smooth. Well, I'm so happy you all can see the difference. Very good. Oh, oh, oh. So let me do a little comparison with our designs from earlier. Okay. It's a pretty big difference, right? And the cool thing about the Aqua Topper is, unlike the Smudge Free, the Smudge Free has a tendency to go cloudy before it dries. You have to wait until it completely dries to see it turn clear again. With the Aqua Topper, you don't have that problem. When it dries and when you apply it, it looks exactly the same as when you didn't apply it. So it's perfect. So this is our designs from earlier. These are the designs that were using a speed dry top coat and or like a polish over because this is kind of like, I don't know, lead lighting isn't the right word, but I wanted to top this design and give it like some kind of sparkle. And you can see how smudged it got. And then this is with our aqua topper. All of our designs look very clear, 
very shiny, very pretty. I can still see the perfect reflection of that lamp right in there. And then this doesn't look gritty at all. So good. Now, let me show you what type of top coat you're gonna wanna use over these designs because I saw some of you asking. So I would go ahead and go in with a speed dry. You can use whatever top coat you want. Um, I love the speed dry just because I like how glossy and shiny it is. But if you're looking to do a matte top coat or if you want to go back with it, I wouldn't really recommend this much for you because at this point you don't need it anymore. Unless you decide to like stamp over this and then you want to do, um, oh, all right, let's just do it anyways. We've got some time. What the heck? <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and stamp a design over this. Let me grab... color that will have enough contrast. Mm, maybe the purple will be contrasting enough. Yeah, we'll just do the purple. I think that will be contrasting enough. And now we're going to go ahead and stamp this design. See you later, bees. I saw that Grandma Mimsy asked everyone if they had lunch. I hope you guys had a really good meal. I already kind of shared what I ate today. So let's stamp on top of this. That looks pretty cute. And then we're going to do another stamp on top of this. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to go for the moon phases. Or, actually, I want to do this design again. I want to do a full nail design because I think it's easier to really see how everything works well together. So we're just going to grab this and stamp this design over again. So take a look at that. Now, let's apply our aqua topper again. <clears throat> so if you wanted, you could just keep going with all the layers and just keep adding and adding and adding. So let's say I wanted to apply the aqua topper. <clears throat> I wanted to do a chrome base <clears throat> stamp and then... I don't know, maybe I want to add some sparkles. Why don't we add sparkles after this? This is just like insurance. So for those of you who are like, I can't remember what my foils do under the smudge free, I'll tell you what happens. The foils under the smudge free, when the smudge free is drying, it has a tendency to look milky. And then eventually it dries clear, but it just takes a while. That's part of the process for some reason that just happens. Um, so the cool thing with the aqua topper is it's clear as soon as you put it on and it's clear when it's dry. It's really nice and easy to work with. And then if you want to go ahead and do like stamping over it, I feel like it's even quicker drying too. I could be wrong because to be quite honest, I haven't timed it, but 
just from doing the live, I noticed that these things kind of dry a little bit faster. Usually, I feel like with the smudge free, if I applied it over a foil or if I applied it over a chrome powder, it just takes a little bit longer to dry and then like turn completely clear. Where these, I felt like, you know, a couple minutes passed and we were ready to go and I was able to stamp. So that is something to know about these. Look at that. This is really cute. <laughs> I like these combinations. Oh my gosh. Someone is like cooking something around my house. And it's like not my house, but like one of my neighbors. And it smells so good. <laughs> I'm not even hungry, but I'm like, what is that? It's, it smells like onions, garlic, herbs, some kind of spices. It's, it smells great. <laughs> Um, okay, so let's see, is this dry enough? Oh yeah, the aqua topper is like pretty dry to the touch. So now I want to go ahead and let's say you're like, this isn't enough. Even though I did foils and I stamped over it, I still want to do more. If you want to be extra, extra, let's add some glitter over it. And you're just going to keep seeing how we can just keep layering and layering and nothing happens. Okay, let's apply just a little, a little sparkle. And so now we added some glitter. My design underneath is nice and clear. Look at that, no smudging, beautiful. We've got the foil, we got the stamp, we got the glitter. I mean, we really are going for broke. And then from here, if you wanted, you could be done with it and top coat it, or you can go ahead and apply more polish if you like. I'm going to use the smudge free or sorry, the speed dry, like I was saying earlier. So that way you all can see what that looks like. Oh, something interesting is happening. The speed dry is reacting with the aqua topper but I can also see it changing in real time. So I applied the speed dry over the aqua topper. It's now turning a little milky, but it's going to dry clear. And I can tell because I can already see it drying clear right here. Can you see it? So you see how it's a little milky, but then right in the center where the polish started to dry, it's turning clear. Yes, this is very experimental. <laughs> we are getting funky together. So I applied that sparkly topper. And now I'm going to go ahead and let's try apply the smudge free and see what happens. I have some smudge free right next to me. So remember the combination for this one was foil, aqua topper, stamp, aqua topper, and then we applied a glitter polish over. And now we're gonna go ahead and apply the smudge free over and see what happens. Is it going to get milky or is it gonna stay clear? We will find out right now. So I love that we're just doing real-time experiments <laughs> together because there's only one way to learn. This is still very wet. Also, it probably wasn't the best idea that I applied such a thick coat, but here we are and this is it. So you guys are getting the real real. No editing or um, 
filters over this so you know that all of it is in real time and we're seeing exactly what's happening. George, don't even start. You leave them be. So with this design, let's see, I applied a polish over it. And is this dry? And then let's just try and go ahead and apply the speed dry over this because I applied a polish base. So I'm very curious. George is my dog. He's a little puppy. Well, he's like, he's a little old man, but he's always going to be my puppy. So this is the speed dry. I know George is so small. <laughs> He's not that small, but one day I'm going to have to show you all a picture of George. He's on my Instagram account. Oh, I think he's on my Instagram account. Maybe not. <laughs> you can't talk about George and not show. Well, this polish is drying, so maybe I can grab him. Although you're not going to see much. Come here, babe. Come, George. Oh, he doesn't want to come around. He's hiding. <laughs> he knows something is afoot. So I applied the speed dry over this. And I think because I waited long enough, everything was fully dry. So we're not having any kind of like weird reactions. But I think I kind of jumped the gun when I did this one. But I can see that it's getting clearer. But this is also a good experiment for all of you to know, hey, if you're going to layer as many layers as I did, make sure to wait for things to dry. Because even this, this is turning a little funky. And again, I think it's just because I jumped the gun and I did so many layers. Because if you think about it, we had the polish base, then we had the chrome powder, then we had the aqua topper. Then we had the stamp, the aqua topper, and then we put a top coat on top of that. So that's six layers. And yeah, maybe that was a lot. Maybe I really pushed it. I never called George Kyoki. <laughs> he comes across too much. I mean, like, I know that might be the Hawaiian word for it, but he's very much a George, but not in Hawaiian. <laughs> And then this one, how many layers did we do? We did polish base layer, and actually I used two colors for the polish base layer, so that was one thing. So that's two coats already, and then we did the foil, or wait, no, the foil glue, the foil, the aqua topper, the stamp, the aqua topper, the glitter, and then the top coat. So we did nine layers. I, what can I say? I was very ambitious. So if you're going to do this stuff and you're going to get nuts with the layering like how I did, I highly, highly recommend you try to wait between layers so that way you know for certain they're dry. Because this one I waited between the layers, this is nice. This is perfect. It's beautiful no problems. And the base for this was actually really, really thick. So I did like two coats, plus I added like two sparkles. And then we stamped. So let's see, that's like two, the stamp, the aqua topper, the black, and then the top coat. So that's about six layers. This is six layers, but I waited. This is nine layers, did not wait. This is, I don't know how many layers we said earlier, but I didn't wait. <laughs> so that's on me. But do you guys have any questions so far? Would putting it under a lamp help the dry time? Unfortunately, no, well, no, it won't. Because polish doesn't dry by light so 
maybe putting it by a fan would help dry it a little quicker. Um, if you were using gel and then you used a gel lamp, that would definitely work. But yeah, I think the only way to speed it up was probably using a fan. Yeah, yep, everyone agrees, fan it is. Oh, but look, this is drying. So you can see it will kind of get a little hazy and then it'll clear up. Now, this happens, did we use the smudge free on this one? Or did we use the speed dry? I can't remember now. Does anyone remember if we use the smudge free or the speed dry on the green? Speed dry. Okay. Oh yeah. That's very smart. If you want to speed up the dry time, use your hair dryer. George. Shh, 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 shh. No, no, no. I think he hears the neighbors downstairs, so he wants to go and say hi. There's a dog he likes there, and she's, like, super cute. So he's always trying to go over and see. But she can't play, so. Shh, George. <laughs> hair dryer on cool. Oh, you guys are all right. The hair dryer is the best way to go. Okay, well, I haven't seen too many questions about the aqua topper. It seems like all of you kind of understand how it works. And yeah, I'm happy I was able to do some experiments with you. Some worked better than others, but we still got to play together. And that's always the fun part. So if you're curious about the aqua topper, I highly, highly recommend you get it. Does Smudge Free really smudge? Smudge free doesn't smudge stamping. However, sometimes when we stamp, there's extra bits of polish that is transferred on the stamp that is loose. And if you take a smudge free and you wipe it over that, the polish gets trapped in the bristles. When that happens, the next time you go ahead and wipe, or like when you go ahead and apply the smudge free over a stamp design, those polish bits that got stuck in your bristles are going to end up transferring onto your other manicure. So we always recommend that people wipe the brush off, especially if they're using black stamping polish. Um, make sure you just kind of wipe the brush. Now with the Aqua Topper, I have a feeling that's not going to happen because the formula is different. The products is shiny of glitter. Yes, there's lots of ways to play with the aqua topper. Yeah, this is it is going. It is going, but it's just taking a little bit of time. So again, make sure your bases are completely dry before you start applying things because I just went a little too heavy and too fast. The reason, okay, so for some of you who are like, why aren't you saying that this is just like a new and improved smudge-free top? Because the smudge-free top coat is a top coat. This is not a top coat. This is like an in-between coat. This is like a slip that you wear underneath a dress or a skirt or whatever. Um, that's part of the reason why I don't want to say it's a complete replacement, I would want to say it's an addition to your collection. Um, yeah, you could still use the smudge free if you want as well. Um, it just depends on how you are planning to use the products and what design you want to create. Yes, it definitely is like a slip. Yes, Grandma Mimsy, perfect example of that. So the Aqua Topper is meant to kind of protect your art as you go and as you continue to build over the design. Um, where the Smudge Free is like the end all be all. Think of it that way. The Smudge Free is your final, when we say it's a top coat, it's the final coat. The Topper is the in-between coat. 
So yeah, I hope that kind of clears things up and you guys can understand a little bit better. Oh yeah, you guys. <laughs> did everyone catch that he just got a little scolding? He super did. It's like he needs to stop trying to talk to the girl downstairs. <laughs> But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing week. I'm going to be gone for a couple of weeks, but Tiana's going to be here taking good care of you. And I know you guys are going to have a blast with her. So I'll talk to you guys a little bit later and have a great week. Bye, everyone.